morning everyone, welcome to round 6 of the Enduro World Series from the Camelback Canadian Open Enduro presented by Specialized. We've got a two day race this weekend, one stage on the Saturday and it is the biggest of the year, top of the world all the way back down to here. Then five more stages on the Sunday, total race distance is 56 kilometers, massive drops, massive climbs, should be one of the toughest of the year. Here we are, top of the world. This is stage one, the longest stage of the 2019 Enduro World Series, Chris. Right, he says an R. What he means is an R for me, really, there. This year, this is the first stage. A huge departure from its typical last stage status, and it means that riders can put a massive time gap into their competitors on Saturday afternoon if you were drawing up a list of trails to ride before you run out of cartilage in your joints. This one, in this place, 100% worthy. Fatigue builds quickly, the arms and hands. Nice and relaxed as you go quick, but then you run a little risk of mechanical failure. You just get these little stretches where you get a chance to get your head up. Oh, I'm just letting this go here. It's so tough to go fast. I'm finding it really difficult. This is new. There we go. Oh yeah, boy yeah. When you get tired, you want to go a little bit slower. When you go a little bit slower, you get tired even quicker and that paradox just blows you to bits. And when people say bike park here, I mean, those trails are, yeah, they're bike parks, but they are rowdy. This is too tight. As you can see, it's pretty tight. Nice! You. At this point the riders are going to start to hear the sounds of the plaza. Under the whistle gondola. The GLC, the World Course and Joyride course. There's the plaza. Past the Red Bull Joyride. Finish. End of stage one. I really enjoyed riding that. Racing it. Top to bottom, sounds and feels absolutely ludicrous. Serves me right for gloating about being in the van. Still going. Yeah, there we are. Whew. Sunday morning, going to wake up, they're going to pedal up here. It's the classic Billy's Epic, which we used three years ago. Technical, raw, classic whistler kind of hand cut single track. Then they're going to fire across onto Blackcomb. The stage on Blackcomb this year is one we've not used in EWS before. It's one of the oldest on that mountain. Before they shoot back across and then they hit stage uh, four or five over on the creek side, using the creek side gondola to get out, finishing on stage six, which brings them pretty much from the Garbo zone in uh, the bike park all the way back to the plaza. Another four kilometre stage. And they got about 1300 metres of climbing on the Sunday. First day of the day. And what's intimidating about a trail called Jaws? I mean, you take the shark out of it, even your man with the metal teeth from James Bond was pretty intimidating. Oh! Oh my word! I didn't see that! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom of the cassette! A bit more intimidating now, Jimmy said, just a steep little climb, so we ended up having to hike up. He said, oh no, the top's not too technical. Really nice stone pitching. I said, what section? He said, the whole top section. <laughs> so I think we've survived Jaws, Rick. What was the Jaws? Was it Jaws 2 when they crashed the helicopter into him? I don't know how my arms are starting to feel. I mean, there's speed in here. There's a lot of tech, there's a lot of accuracy. Stronger is going to have their spots on this course they're going to like. Some of the big, fast, burly bike park. And some of those more technical ninjas are going to lap up this kind of thing. Down here. There he goes. No land anchor, look at that. Shut up, Bolly. <laughs> this is techy, eh? Woo, it's nibbly. Nibbly. XL 29ers. That will wake you up. That to kickstart your Sunday. Is this an old trail, is it? This is an old trail. It was actually called Roman alone because it was a horse trail and it had a whole bunch of horse on it. Okay, good. That's it's going to have a whole lot more horse up today. <laughs> 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 K 
carry on with your golden boner baller. You just, you just like saying that word, don't you? Rumor has it, it's called golden boner. It's the guy who dug it, wasn't doing well with the ladies, then got it finished. You can probably fill the rest of the blanks in on that one. Quite a lot of rock as well, which is maybe not common as some of the other trails you've used over this side in previous years. I like to climb it, a lot of shale. You can hear that back wheel slide in there. Here's the first of the little pinches. Doesn't seem like much, but when you're already anaerobic, it's pretty tough. So yeah, of course, any EWS win is a massive thing, but to win in Whistler, one of the real international homes of mountain biking. It's a big scalp. Should we drop some WAP bombs, baller? Oh. <sighs> Look at him go! I'm changing up gears! I thought Chris Froome was out injured! There's just smoke coming off the back of the bike. There you go. The a bait baller once today. This is the bit that we don't get. Yeah. The media wreck you were. These guys are like us. Hard right through the roof. And they still have to race this stuff. Yeah. This is instant gratification. The last of the trio of trails. You're thinking with the heart rate about 180. Your legs be looking like lead. Oh, got that. There's still some important lines to hit in here. Nice support in the turns though. End of stage three. Whew. Cool. My sticker on the side. Right, Sabre Two Force. If you can imagine such a beast, it would look like this apparently. I have been bitten by a horse once. Brand new, brand new trail. Here in the Creekside Zone for this year. So above us, the bit you haven't seen is also no joke in some of the classic Garbo Zone bike park trails. We still haven't reached the start of what was a whole stage from last year. And behold, how bad I am at riding bike park. Kind of what Whistler's famous for. Look at the size of these berms. This is a good one. This is a rider favorite. Rider favorite, he said. Oh, look at the speed of him. All the duffy holes that was developed last year have gone. Who plays the hard pack? Work a trail crew as ever. Working their magic. Well over 70 trails in the bike park now. I know it's coming. <laughs> what are you doing over there, mate? <laughs> Woo! It wasn't even intentional. <laughs> Four and a half thousand meters of descending this weekend. I'm walking. It's hot. This is line of control. 1.1 kilometers long. Nearly have my handlebars taken away from me by a bush. Tight, accurate, techy single track load. Holes. Catch you out. Oh! Awkward. Yeah, that one catches you out. Yeah. They found some water. It's like striking gold. Oh, look at this. Mud. So, yeah, another completely different style of trail. Whoa, that's narrow. With wet tires. Oh, 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 well, hell. Only 1100 meters in length, but making you work for every single one of them. It's just like a million and one bench presses, hole after hole. Oh, and they all feel exactly the size of my front wheel. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Five on. Come on, I can feel it. I've got that need. The need to ride really, really averagely. Right, stage six. So, another four kilometer stage. Whoa. <laughs> I think that's a double wreck. What was that I just rode? Yeah, so this is one of the main technical bits on in deep. A classic. Oh, techers. Very well ridden trail, and it means. You can charge, it's predictable, and being a four kilometer stage at the end of a massive race, anyone with time back does actually have the potential to catch it. So, this will be it. The race, I'd say more than likely, will be in the balance. Now, it's faster if you go to the left, but we're in BC, so why wouldn't you take? Wooden skinny option. Right. Wow! 
Nice rowdy. Whistler Bike Park it is maybe, maybe the most special place to ride your bike on earth. That's the toughest one ever for me. Let's go for a, let's go for six or seven debriefs.